Here's your first look at the upcoming MIB plushie. Do you want one? Join the mailing list. The link is in the description right below the sponsor. You will be the first to know when these puppies go on pre-order and you can snag one and cuddle me. Cuddle me! Don't wait. Join the mailing list now. Godzilla and Pinball, two ideas made for each other like me and Alexandra Daddario. Today we'll look at a whole bunch of Godzilla Pinball, both physical and digital, and see what's worth checking out. Spoiler, it's all worth checking out. That's how the video ends, but don't click away! This is the Godzilla Pinball Machine from 1998, based on the TriStar Pictures film, and it was made by SEGA. The SEGA Pinball Machine is 28 inches wide, 78 inches tall, 54 inches deep, and weighs 250 pounds. The centerpiece is Godzilla himself, smashing his way into your game represented by a large head and two hands. Look at that head sculpt! It's pretty damn cool! There's a screen with some animations, including Godzilla blowing away a SEGA truck with his stank-ass breath. It's even got a little radioactive iguana origin. For you TriStar purists. The art includes the actors from the movie. There's Matthew Broderick. There's Jean Reno. I like the lights. It's a great machine. I'm not sure where you'll find one of these these days, besides at G-Fest or maybe a large pinball arcade, but if you ever do come across this cabinet, give it a play, regardless of what you think of the movie. A cool pinball machine is a cool pinball machine. But I'll show you an even cooler machine in just one minute. Did you know that 2023 is the 50th anniversary of Zone Fighter? Not enough Godzilla fans talk about Zone Fighter. It's that Toku TV show Toho made about the superhero Zone Fighter who fought King Ghidorah and killed Gigan. He killed Gigan! And Godzilla guest starred a whole bunch. This is Showa Universe canon. And yet, it still feels kind of obscure. Of course, getting any Zone Fighter merchandise in America is near impossible, so that's where Bai comes in. Bai.jp lets me shop stores and auction sites in Japan and import them here to my collection. They handle language barriers, currency exchanges, all of it. And with Bai, look! Some of the Toho monsters that only appeared in Zone Fighter. His car, the Mighty Liner, which I'm obsessed with! And these character dolls of Zone Fighter, Zone Angel, Zone Junior, and the evil Gold Garuga. Bai sponsored this video, and as a gift, you can sign up for an account with the link in this video's description and get 2,000 yen of free spending money to celebrate Zone Fighter or whatever else. He killed Gigan! Enjoy the video. Okay, let's flash forward over two decades to 2021, when Stern Pinball released this masterpiece. Godzilla Pinball! Here's the Pro Edition, 27 inches wide, 75 and a half inches tall, 55 inches deep, just a hair smaller than the Godzilla 98 machine, but weighing the same 250 pounds. This game features the Blue Oyster Cult song Godzilla, which I'd love to show you here without losing any of my monetization. It's got a real video and audio spanning across 10 Showa-era Godzilla movies. It is just brimming with love for Godzilla's history. But the main attraction of this machine is the building you can attack. It's also got what's called a magna grab, where a magnet can snatch your ball, then drop it to a flipper right there. There are ramps, lights, art of Godzilla and Mechagodzilla. Holy hell, this is an awesome pinball cabinet! There's a premium edition as well with the same measurements as the pro edition. Premium has a lot of upgrades. The first thing you might catch is the different cabinet art. This one's got a Godzilla figure inside as well as a Mechagodzilla. And Mechagodzilla's got a magnet to catch your ball too. And I actually have these parts, separate from the machine. Here's Godzilla. He's kinda in Reptar colors. A few people have pointed out the mold similarity between this and this Bondi Japanese Godzilla mold. I totally see it. The Mechagodzilla here definitely reminds me of the Bust Bank that came out a few years back, although there are some subtle differences. I'm glad I have these and I got to show them to you guys up close. It's just a cool little piece for the old collection. Back to the machine, there's an actual building in the game you can knock down. It's incredibly interactive. It's called a motorized skyscraper building bash toy. It's so cool! There's also an animated breakaway bridge ramp. 
This game is a must-play for Godzilla fans. There's a guide on their website where you can find what bar or arcade or whatever near you has one of these cabinets. I got to play the premium version last G-Fest, and this thing is just so beautiful to look at. Look at this art! So colorful, all the favorites are here. This is the world of Godzilla. The screen display is absolutely amazing. My only complaint being it's too cool. I wanted to keep looking at it, and I literally couldn't keep my eye on the ball. I can't stress enough how much I recommend this cabinet any way you can play it. Maybe if I say it four more times, Stern Pinball will send me a free one. Ha! All jokes aside, it's good to see such a modern piece that gives so much love to the Godzilla I grew up on. There's another version of this, it's the limited edition machine. Once again, the entire cabinet is different art. It's mostly the same as the premium version, except for an upgraded speaker system, anti-reflection, playfield glass, a shaker motor, things like that. Only a thousand of these limited edition cabinets exist. Here's some interesting pinball lore. King Kong almost had his own machine by Data East in 1990, but the project was abandoned and only nine prototypes of this cabinet exist in the world, each a little different. In the art here, Kong is seen climbing the Sears Tower as a tribute to Chicago being home to the pinball industry. Another Easter egg in this art are the planes. They're inspired by a 1989 G.I. Joe vehicle, the Cobra Condor. More in a moment. Now we're going to move over to Digital Pinball. The video game Pinball Effects was developed by Zen Studios and is available on Xbox, Switch, PlayStation, you name it. It is free to download, but you can pay for the digital cabinets that you want. In 2023, a pack was released that's themed to the MonsterVerse movie Godzilla vs. Kong. It's called Legendary Pinball. Full disclosure, Zen Studios did provide me with free access to this pack so I could show it to you. But I will remain honest. Welcome fellow Titan Chasers to episode number 116 of the Titan Trackers podcast brought to you by Lizzie. This is the Godzilla vs. Kong machine and you'll see that there are many game modes and goals and we're going to start on arcade mode, which is pretty standard pinball but with some cool added power moves. So this is cool, the machine looks awesome and the best part about it are the things that real arcade machines can't do. I like the surrounding outside of the machine too, it's like we're in the Apex Lab. To launch the ball, you drop Kong's axe, and here we go. So there are a number of things you can do to get bonuses, like you could spell out words, but the thing you need to do to trigger the story mode is to get the ball into the sinkhole three times. My biggest complaint is this screen here, all the way in the upper left. To watch it or read it, I have to take my eyes way off the pinball board, and then, ah, hey, I wasn't ready! Watch out! Incoming attack! When's this monster going to give up? Also, how many games do I have to start by hearing my skill shot failed? Shoot for the flashing lamp to perform a skill shot. Skill shot attempt missed. Skill shot attempt failed. Skill shot attempt failed. Skill shot attempt failed. Skill shot attempt missed. Skill shot attempt missed. Skill shot attempt failed. Skill shot attempt missed. Skill shot attempt failed. Skill shot attempt failed. Skill shot attempt failed. Anyway, like I said, there are a lot of goals and you can read up on them here. Now, I thought I was okay at pinball, but but my game seemed to end before I can accomplish most of these goals. God, it hurts to stand by helplessly while the ball just goes between the flippers. Visually, I like the Godzilla board a lot. It's taking place during the nighttime fight in Hong Kong, and it's got Godzilla and Mechagodzilla. This one's not as much a linear story as the Godzilla vs. Kong board, but there's still plenty to do and unlock. The middle is very empty because you can trigger a minigame to play here. To launch the ball in this one, you use Godzilla's atomic breath, which is kind of weird. It's like Godzilla's coughing up the pinball. <coughs> The guys talking are some Apex villain and some Monarch guy, and you'll hear their sound bites a lot. But real pinball is like that too, so I suppose this can get a pass. Come on, big guy. Get. Back. Up. I like this machine, but it's my least favorite of the three. Although I love the dorsal plates around the borders, and the feeling that we're floating toward the city. So it's my favorite background of the three, just my least favorite machine of the three. 
Oh, and before I mention special moves, in arcade mode you can slow down time until this meter runs out. You have no idea how much carnage these monsters can do. That's the first power-up you start with, and it is pretty fun to use. But still, my games don't last nearly long enough to achieve the majority of objectives. It's breached the outer walls. There's still the gate to hold him, though. Here's the Kong machine. I like this machine. It looks awesome! We get to listen to some British scientist and another guy, and I'm sure by now you could tell these voices evoke characters in the movie, but aren't those characters from the movie. An ecosystem vast as any ocean, right beneath our feet. Hollow Earth. The ball launches via a heave ship, and you can see it's a Hollow Earth motif. That was unexpected. Visually, this is my favorite machine of the three. This one's got a ton of mini-games you can trigger. He's going after our equipment! Hey! That was expensive! So in all of these, you can change the angle you play, and I actually do find I play better at certain angles, particularly the far-up angle, but this zoom angle is more fun to look at in general and show in a YouTube that video. Honest to God, I want to see the cool stuff this board can do, but my games end so quick and they get stressful. Maybe you're better at this than I am, but if you're like me, you would enjoy practice mode more. You get one hour of unlimited He's balls. It shouldn't even Fine. be called practice mode, it should be called something like Zen mode. Because I find this mode to be really fun and relaxing. I like it. So now I can last long enough and show you a few of the crazy things that go down. Like Godzilla and Kong fighting. Godzilla and Kong going at each other. Destruction unlike anything I've ever seen. Those two are wrecking the city. Godzilla jackpot scores increased. And cool multi-ball modes. Godzilla's heat rate is total half the damn city. Yeah, this machine follows the movie pretty closely. You know what has to happen to Kong then? Doesn't look like he's moving. I can't believe you got knocked the fuck out. But uh oh, third act surprise. It all looks really nice. Astonishing events unfolding right here on the Titan Trackers podcast. Again, it's hard to take my eyes off of the board, so I can't really watch these movie scenes up here. And sometimes there are directions I just can't catch. Kong's back, and it's time to finish this whole thing. But Godzilla makes a weird move here. Scenes of absolute devastation in Hong Kong, listeners. And when you do finish the story, it just loops back to the beginning. I won't show you every little gimmick in these machines, but I do want to share this one on Kong's machine, because I think it's pretty clever. Whoa, what's happening? Inverted pinball! Oh, it's hard as hell. I went through like nine balls before my brain was able to reorient. So yeah, these Godzilla vs. Kong themed pinball machines are themed well. Practice mode is a fun activity for us fidgety people. While I prefer the novelty of playing real pinball, this really is the next best thing to owning a machine. So if you like what I'm saying, then it might be worth checking out for you. King Kong is no stranger to digital pinball. This is the 2006 mobile pinball game called King Kong the Eighth Wonder of the World, based on the Peter Jackson film. And you can even get yourself a small toy version of Peter Jackson King Kong Pinball. And it is worth bringing up that the 1998 Godzilla had a similar toy pinball machine as well, bringing us right back to the beginning. So like I said at the top of the video, I like all of this! My biggest endorsement goes to that premium stern pinball machine, like oh my god. But everything I showcased is worth checking out. Let me know what you think and which games you've played. Until next time.